I support electric vehicles and I support um, hydrogen vehicles. In fact, I've talked to my husband, I want my next vehicle to be a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. We, we've purchased three for the government, so we already have them on, on uh, our fleet. We have 100 that was purchased by the Edmonton International Airport. There's a 5,000 vehicle challenge going on in Edmonton. We're working with Air Products to get net zero hydrogen. We want to build out the infrastructure. We're funding projects for hydrogen buses in Edmonton and Strathcona, as well as conversion of long haul vehicles to hydrogen dual fuel vehicles. We're on board with that. But the idea that within two years time, 20% of all cars that have to be sold in Canada are going to be zero emissions, it's, it's bananas, it's not achievable. And I can tell you, people, if they want a car, they need to buy it now because we're entering into a period of rationing. There's no other way uh, around it. I, I spoke to the manufacturers and they told me the way it will work is that they will, the only way to meet those targets is to reduce the amount of gas uh, of fueled elect, uh, of gas fueled vehicles that they sell. So if you only buy 2,000 vehicles in the Albert, Alberta market, they're only going to be able to sell 8,000 gas-fired vehicles in our market, we buy 200,000 vehicles a year. And so we have to expect that what they're going to do is essentially phase out the traditional auto sector. And I wish I could do something about it, but we don't have auto manufacturing in Alberta. Um, there isn't a way for me to be able to override it. I can just warn Albertans that um, if this truly is implemented the way that they have said, by the time we get to January 15th of 2026, we'll have sold our allotment of gas-fired vehicles for that year, and you're gonna be uh, sitting on a waiting list waiting your turn. So if anyone needs to buy a car, they better buy it now. If this comes into effect, we'll end up having to keep our cars longer, make sure that we develop a, a good way of repairing them, because we're going to be entering in, into a long period of time where cars just aren't going to be available. And, and when I look at the EV market, as a for instance, most of those cars right now are going to British Columbia and Quebec. So to imagine how is everything going to be able to fuel up or power up so, uh, so that they're able to give 20% of cars in all markets, how are we going to be able to build out our electricity grid and our, our powering stations? How do we build out our fueling stations if it's hydrogen? We don't even have hydrogen car production happening in our market. So uh, it's, it's, it, it's really the height of arrogance on the part of this environment minister. I, I know the manufacturers and the dealers have been talking to him for two years and it's like hitting a, a head against a brick wall. There's just been no movement on it. And now consumers are going to suffer. And I wish there was more I could do other than warn people to go out and buy a car, but that's what they need to do.